with this example let's discuss about the feature of oops object oriented programming which is fully the implementation of objects and classes but there are five features of object oriented programming which we can discuss it with the help of this example the first feature is data encapsulation second is data abstraction third is inheritance fourth is polymorphism and fifth is modularity what is we'll talk about the so first of all data abstraction what is data abstraction data abstraction is what abstraction means essential features which are required by user without including background details as we know everything is private within a class we make get data and show data we have defined these two functions publicly within a class we make them public the reason behind why because these are required from outside a class from outside a world so this is nothing it's an example of data abstraction providing essential features outside a class without including background details so here i'm not including i'm not giving any background detail mean to say the private data and we know this thing the oops is based on the concept of data hiding the so private is comes in data hiding public part comes in data abstraction and both public and private part comes in within a class which is nothing we can say data encapsulation so data encapsulation is what data encapsulation is the first feature of the oops it's in the, it's nothing it's just a wrapping up of data under a single unit so we did it here and the entire class can be represented by the single word s which is in an object further on inheritance and polymorphism we'll discuss it in next exam so now let's back to the classes and objects as you see member function get data and show data which is defined within a class here i'll say a member functions can be defined by two different ways first is within a class which we just did second is outside a class so like let's see how member functions can be defined outside a class and then we'll discuss what is the difference between defining a member function within a class or outside a class i'll declare member function within a class void get data void show data close the class now i'll define it outside a class i'm defining it here sorry if i define simply by writing void get data and i'm using the variable here compiler will again give an error roll number and name is undefined symbol the reason behind why as i said the member functions can be defined outside a class the same i'm doing but compiler is giving an error undefined symbol why undefined symbol because if i am defining get data which is already declared within a class but for the compiler this get data is not a member function of class student for the compiler this get data can be a non member function with the same name so in order to define it right now compiler is considering this get data as a non member function and non member function ki within a non member function you cannot access you cannot use a variable which is declared within a class so how i'll define it in order to define a member function outside a class we need to provide you need to provide object sorry class reference which is always given by scope resolution operator void student scope resolution get data now in this case roll number and name is accessible it's completely member function which is defined outside a class and you can input the things and the same way i'll define second member function show data void student scope resolution 
show data will give the output and the main is same as it was previously defined class student s s dot get data s dot show data. Now this is what we defined member function outside a class. Let us discuss what is the difference between defining a member function within a class and outside a class. In this case in general in fact what happened whenever we give a call to any function just forget about class for a minute. What happened in this case? The moment function gets invoked, it is a calling statement for the defined function show, the control will get jump from here to the function body, the things will perform, function terminates, the control will get back to the main. In this process, jumping to the function and coming back to the main, it takes time. Although the time is very minute, it is a very negligible time but it is taking a time which now we have to reduce it. In order to reduce that time in calling a function, going to the function body, coming back to the main, to the calling statement, what I can do? There is a keyword inline, there is a keyword inline, inline. Before void, I will use word inline, I N L I N E. In this case, now the function becomes an inline function. Now what happened in this case? When I compile this code, the moment I compile it, whatever the code is written above, it gets copied and will be pasted here during compilation time. Which causes what? Which causes it now it will not take any time to jump to a function body and coming back to the main. The moment you execute the program, the code is already there, it will execute over here. No jump is required in order to invoke a function, in order to execute a function, nothing else is required. So in this case, what happened? The time gets reduced, the program execution speed gets as comparative with the previous one, it becomes faster. The same thing happens in case of classes. Previously, when I defined member functions within a class, at that time they become inline. At that time, what exactly was happening? In that case, no jump was required, the code was getting copied and pasted there from where we are calling or you can say from the calling statement from the main function. Now I have defined it outside a class, in this case no inline function, nothing copied and nothing pasted. I am calling a function, get data, control will get jump, will execute the function, after the termination of get data function, control will get back to the main, then the second call, show data, a control again will get jump to the function body, will execute the function, after termination of function, control will get back to the main. In this case, as compared to the inline, it takes a minor time. So I must say, inline function is what? The first of all, the difference between defining a member function within a class or outside a class. Whenever you define a member function within a class, at that time they become an inline function. The advantage of inline function is it is reducing the execution time, the speed becomes faster as comparatively, but the disadvantage is it occupies double memory. Why double? Because I said copy paste, when we call inline function and the function is inline, the copy of the function body gets replaced to a calling statement which takes double memory. Calling it 10 times to inline function that means the 10 times the copy and paste will happen for the same function. This is the difference between defining a member function within a class or outside a class.